Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, everybody Neff from Nest Tech. But today we're going to be taking a look at the E590 Lenovo ThinkPad. This particular unit is an i7 8th generation. Looks like we got about 8 cores in here. Yeah, 8 cores and an Intel U HD graphics 620. The case feels like aluminum. Like it's cold right here where I'm molesting it right now. And we got a giant uh, trackpad. Not giant enough that you'll get your hands all over it like you would on the carbon but it's always nice to have the buttons up here and uh, does anyone actually use this thing anymore seriously it's like just part of the, the model if you don't know that's that's the mouse very cool very cool anyways eight gigs around that seems to be about the basic i uh i'd have a hard time finding a professional system with any less than that the e series of course is made to be affordable but still business like i'm really impressed with this latest version i had the i think it was the e 480 maybe it was the 490 someone had to put it into their luggage and it didn't make the trip the whole thing was plastic it man it just feels nice oh it feels professional very good well what do you what more do you want me to say unfortunately there's no way to automatically slide the camera off i guess that's because it's uh uh business thing but seriously about uh, about having cameras covered back in my day when i was little uh <laughs> not even when i was little but people thought if you covered your camera that that you were crazy but these days people just accept the fact that there's a good chance someone could be watching you but seriously leave in the comments if you're that type of person who do you think is watching you work or someone else government uh third party check it out we got some beautiful aluminum uh on the top here very nice. Oh, no. Bum, 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 bum. Looks like we can't get at the battery uh, unless we unscrew it. That's very unfortunate. I'm not, uh, not too pleased with that. I hate it when they do that flat out. Because now, not only do I have to find a Phillips, my life is so hard. I probably only have about 18 of those in the basement. But it means if I need to hard reset it, I might just have to... No, it's too small. That's what she said. I might just have to do a reset. So if you ever get one of these, it won't turn on for whatever reason. And I had that once after a flight. Oh, it doesn't even do it on this one. There is no CMOS, little CMOS battery that you can hit to reset the CMOS. If you need to reset this thing, you got to go right into it, ladies and gentlemen. That, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, here we go. Philip said screw over here. So I think it was the last year's model that they decided they were going to make it so the the battery is unaccessible that the battery was unaccessible and uh or that they have a battery on the outside and on the battery on the inside and i kind of get that and at the same time there are repair instances where you need to pull a battery just to see if you can get it going again and it's not because you don't like the battery it's not because you, your battery doesn't call home uh, enough just to say it's okay just because I don't know because reasons but seriously if I have to get into a system to remove the CMOS battery let's face it it happens ladies and gentlemen we all know we work with the computers we work with CMOS batteries and it happens that uh, we should at least make it easy I'm not even sure if these are the kind of screws that screw it all the way or if they kind of catch themselves three quarters of the way Lenovo has made some of these Almost there. But seriously, why make it so difficult? But at the same time, they're not making it really so bad. They could just put like four screws in it and make me unclip everything one at a time. You know what I'm saying? Usually I like to fast forward through this, but there's always that one guy that likes to complain that, oh, I don't know how you actually got into the system now. Oh, why did I just chew my nail? I got this sexy lady open. Check her out. We got uh, the fan CPU sitting right over here. An extra spot for RAM. Oh, mm, that's so sexy. I love it. Oh, when they give me extra spots for RAM because dual channel RAM needs two sticks. Oh, yeah. Oh, anyways. Anyways. Yeah, yeah. Anyways. SSD down here. 3.5 style. Big old battery here. Oh, I'm not seeing any place particular where... You might just have to unplug that CPU battery. And I'm guessing that's what it is right there. Of course, I could be wrong. Take a quick look, a close look at this. As close as we can. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, slap that back back on. Do a benchmark and see how she does. See you soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's set this sucker through her paces. 
run benchmark so i am going to come back to this when it actually gets to the video so you can see for yourself how good it looks but um for now i'm just going to make a prediction it's going to be four thousand four thousand we'll see planes are flying nicely boys but what's up with this can anyone explain how on some benchmarks i get this and on some i don't i don't know what's up with that right all right now folks get ready for the flying rocks 7.57 frames per second my lenovo my, my six-year-old lenovo y580 runs this better what the heck and again, it actually had a GPU, so I don't know, maybe this thing needs a better GPU in order to handle that, but seriously, if a six-year-old gaming laptop uh, does better than a current day, just what do you call this, just standard business class laptop? The thing's got uh, the balls where it counts with the i7, but not where it really counts with the video card, I guess. And then again, let's see the more advanced stuff, the DirectX uh, 10, 12 stuff. Maybe it'll do better for us there. No. 22 frames per second. Maybe I should move this if you guys can't see that. There, sorry about that. The space jellyfish. Ooh. Spooky, scary skeletons. Get space fish. You ever have a day where you keep leaving your pop in another room and you can't figure out where the heck you put it? My life is so hard. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to wonder if the perfect match is an i5 with uh, some legitimate video card. Like, I'm sure this thing will get by. I mean, maybe I'll throw Grand Theft Auto V at it. What is that? It's sun. I am disappoint. 3,235.7. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on here? I, I don't get it. I mean... Technology really hasn't gone all that far all that quick. Seems like it'd be easier just to buy a used computer than it would be to buy a new computer. Just throw another solid state drive in there, maybe another fan where you go. Let's face it, the rest of it doesn't wear out. The only wear and tear happens on the hard drive if, you ha if you're silly enough to get a standard definition or the, uh, the CPU fan, the case fan. With, with uh, benchmarks this low, I'm like, guys, are you really changing anything? If I'm missing something, guys, tell me in the description. But I just, I think there should be more power. However, if you had to go out and get a new system, because let's face it, there's some times where you just have to go out and get a new system. This is a good system. Oh. Sorry, that's my anthem ball. Anyways, I don't even know what anthem that is. That's it for me. Never from that stack. But like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Always appreciate it and have, have a good time. Take care of each other. Definitely take care of each other.